hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to sow some seeds so basically this is the last week of january but when the video will come to you it will be 8th or 9th february so basically i was thinking to start these seeds in january and there is so much going on the weather is not nice so i didn't get the chance up until the end of january so these seeds are meant to start in January. Um, so I'm a bit late, but still I made it before the end of January. So I'm out here in the garden and you can see it's really wet and muddy, but there are a few things still looking so beautiful and flowering. These evergreen shrubs, whoever planted them in my garden, I'm really thankful to them because they have brought so much year-round interest winter interest in my garden so these shrubs and trees were already here they are nice and mature i do need to do a little bit of pruning on them so i'm waiting for the right time to come and now i am in my garage come shed i'm going to sow the seeds so here i have got some seeds which need direct sowing so basically radish turnip uh, spinach um these seeds can be sown directly i will go outside and sow them directly and just waiting for the temperatures to rise a little bit and uh, these seeds um, some of them can be started in january and some in february so i'm going to start lobelia and salvia today they can be started in january the other seeds um, should be started in february or march like marigolds so because they grow sometimes so fast if you start them too early you can't really handle them and put them outside this is uh, peony um i bought it last year on discount this fair root needs to go in the garden so i need to do it as early as possible and here are my chili seeds which i collected myself last year i sorted them last year as well and i'm gonna give them a try again this year so basically over the years i have learned uk weather is really really unpredictable and it is really hard to grow warm weather crops uh, like chilies eggplants tomatoes tomatoes are okay and we can still grow them but sometimes we don't get the harvest as it rains too much and they get tomato blight disease so you have to harvest them unripe with chilies and eggplants they are long long growing season so you start them in january you take care of them indoors for three months and you plant them outside they produce towards the end of september october so it's really long time and it's not worth the effort for few fruit because i have a small garden and also i need to watch for the sunny side of my garden my backyard doesn't get much sun here now when we moved into this house so that's another drawback now i know some people can grow them successfully who are in south like london or suburbs where there's still a lot of effort and some people can grow them in heated greenhouses or very good uh, gold frames which are really good quality good gold frames but it is a lot of effort and investment for just a little crop so i have been trying to grow them for several years now and every year there is some kind of issue going on with them only one year i was really really successful with my bell peppers i had a really good harvest and then following three or four years they have been terrible with eggplants i didn't get any success for first three four years then last year i had three or four eggplants so i think it's not worth the time and effort to have you know one kg or two kg of vegetable so i'm thinking now not to grow them anymore so i just have few seeds sitting around so i will be using them this year and maybe next year i will just be growing few things like beans or zucchini etc so here i have got seed modules i have filled them with multi-purpose compost i have mixed a little bit of a light in there as well for good drainage and now i have sown my seeds now flower seeds are really really tiny sometimes really hard to see like lobelia seeds are really tiny so for tiny seeds the rule is just sprinkle them on the surface and really really lightly cover them or may not be cover them and you can see they are really like a dust with a little bit bigger seeds you can cover them with really light compost 
light layer of compost or perlite or vermiculite or <coughs> with a little bit bigger seeds so them like one centimeter deep like sunflower seeds which are really big or peas or beans etc and cover them with good amount of compost i like to bottom water my seed module so there is a tray underneath the seed module where i put the water so water soaks up instead of you know watering from top because we are so wet here it gets really moldy and also when you water from top these seeds can dislodge so or can be flooded so i don't really like watering at the top uh, for the first time because compost is really dry and i don't wet it before sowing my seeds because then it is really hard to handle it sticks to your hands everywhere so i like to sow the seeds first then i will just sprinkle a little bit of water on top and then bottom water them they will be nice and wet in one or two days and then i will keep them in my windowsill which is south facing and uh, it receives a lot of sun but there's no sun to be honest uh, the days are getting a bit longer now but it's mostly cloudy it's mostly rainy there's not much sun so i'm gonna start them now but they could be too laggy if they don't receive enough sunlight so it's a good idea to invest in a grow light um, if you want to start lots of seeds indoors i'm just giving them try another year and maybe next year i won't be starting any seeds indoors we'll just buy plug plants from the garden center i think this is much easier and cheaper buying plug plants from the garden center in march or april rather than starting seeds in january and struggling with lard struggling with mold issues struggling with leggy seedlings so i have learned from my experience plug plants are much better it's a little bit more money you need to invest but you know um, it's less time and effort less hassle and for few more pounds you can get much better plants so um, i have got a grow light but uh, there's no point of putting them under the grow light uh, until they germinate so i will keep them in windowsill where it's nice and warm and once they germinate and they start growing then i will turn my grow light on and it is really expensive these days you know utility bills are rising so yeah i'm starting my flower seeds and chili seeds today which can be sown in january so basically chili seeds lobelia salvia stock lavender and i'm also sowing my dahlia seeds uh, they should be sown in february but it is the end of january anyway and they can be sown in early february so i'm sowing them as well and remember to label your seeds otherwise you may struggle if you are a beginner to identify them later keep them warm and well watered and maybe under a grow light or on a sunny south facing windowsill that's all about starting seeds in january so hope you enjoyed watching this video see you next time bye bye